stroke is a relatively common um, disease that affects the nervous system. One of the things that I wanted to accomplish in my career was to branch out from the very basic studies um, that I was doing on motor learning and the importance of sensory feedback in motor learning. This project is looking at identifying the types of impairments that we see in motor learning after a stroke. We're looking at how oxygen deprivation due to an occlusion in blood flow impacts motor learning. Traditionally, when we assess a patient with stroke, we look to see if they've got a problem with movement or a problem with sensation or a problem with language or vision. But one of the things that we haven't spent much time looking at is how well individuals who had a stroke actually learn. And so being able to identify whether the patient has a problem with learning or not may end up helping us to tailor rehabilitation strategies going forward. Over the course of several years, the Calgary Stroke Program has pioneered a number of novel treatments that have advanced stroke care, both within Calgary and globally. It gives us access to individuals who have had a stroke very early in their recovery process, and that gives us the ability to track motor learning and how it evolves over the course of recovery. I use a robotic device called the Kenarm Exoskeleton. It is a bimanual robot that supports the arms against gravity and allows us to create novel environments, manipulate the physics of how the arm moves, change the relationship between muscle activity and the resulting arm motion, as well as manipulate visual feedback while participants perform arm movements. We're trying to develop the ability to flag impairment to understand the range of impairments that happen when somebody's had a stroke uh, and understand brain areas that play into those different impairments um, that we see in the arm as well as impairments that we see in the ability to learn arm movements. One of the hopes that we have for the use of technology in general or robotics specifically are that they can lead us down this path of really individualizing and personalizing the rehabilitation that someone gets after they have a stroke so you can maximize their recovery. Mm -hmm.